If you're looking for a budget-friendly and easy one-pot recipe that's great for camping and absolutely delicious, then you have found the right video. We're going to cook beef stroganoff in an instant pot using our portable power station and showing you the time, both cooking and total time, power needed, and the energy consumption. Be sure to stick around until the end where I summarize the data and have the final recipe. Welcome friends and welcome to Katie's Camp Kitchen. I'm going to turn this to saute, high saute. I added two tablespoons of butter, one small onion, one pound of ground beef. I'm going to cook this until the butter melts. I'm gonna go ahead and separate the ground beef. Just gonna get that ground beef ground up just a little bit. You could also use a pound of thinly sliced steak. That works really well also. And I don't see any butter remaining in there, so. This ground beef will continue to cook while at pressure. So let's see where we are right now. We're at about five minutes in. We've used 56 watt hours so far. Now I'm just going to add all my seasonings. Half a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. A quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And the garlic granules. And a quarter of a teaspoon of onion granules or powder. Stir that in. Eight ounces of mushrooms that have been cut into bite-sized pieces. And add in my eight ounces of noodles, two cups of beef broth. The sour cream is not going in right now. That's gonna go in after we've pressure cooked this. So I'm just gonna leave those noodles on the top. Kind of mash them down into that liquid. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add enough liquid to just barely cover those. So I've used about three cups. And I want to make sure that I don't get above the max line. And you can see I'm almost right there. So just submerge these noodles and as they cook of course they're going to fall into the liquid because the instant pot because it's pressurized in this case does not lose liquid okay let's see where we are right now we're at about 10 minutes 105 watt hours so now i'm going to put the lid on on this particular model of pressure cooker I'm going to hit cancel to take it off of saute. I'm going to turn it to pressure high for four minutes. Just wait for it to beep. Okay, there's the beep. We're at 112 watt hours. And I uh, just want to make sure this pressure relief valve is closed. That's open. This is closed. I want to make sure it's closed. So I'm just waiting for it to come to pressure. We're at 118 watt hours so far. And it's 12 after, so we've been going for 12 minutes with everything. We used three and a half cups of the beef broth and I have a half a cup left. Okay, we've come to pressure now, 20 minutes, and we're still using 700 watts of power. This says on right now, in just a few seconds, it's going to go ahead and switch over to count down the minutes, which are four. This can take up to a minute to switch over. And there we go. So one of the things that happens when it switches over, when it's at pressure is it goes to zero on the watts it's pulling because it is at pressure 
and we're at 213 watt hours right now in 21 minutes. So it has gone to zero and it will add a little bit of energy as needed to keep the to keep the pressure cooker pressurized for the four minutes. At this moment, we're at 62% energy remaining in the power station. This is an EcoFlow River 2 Pro. It has an 800 watt inverter and a 768 watt hour battery. If you like this type of video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You can see the L has appeared and now this timer will count up. I think we're on keep warm. We use 213 watt hours, 62% of the energy remaining in the power station, 26 minutes total time. I'm just going to slowly release it and see the steam starting to come up. Just kind of directing the pressure away. That's going so I didn't want to just flip it over and let it go because a lot of steam would have come out at once. This is a much gentler way to do it. Okay, let's see what all that took. We're now at 31 minutes. We'll go ahead and take the lid off and see how we did. Well, the noodles look cooked. When I first took off the lid, this is how the liquid level looked. It's, it looks a bit liquidy. As the noodles set, they will absorb some of the liquid. So let's go ahead and add in the sour cream. We can do the final adjustment at the very end by adding a cornstarch slurry if needed. Let's go ahead and plate this up. This is set for maybe five minutes and you can see that the liquid's been absorbed quite a bit. So I think maybe that was the right amount of liquid. So but we'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and Let's put some on here. Wow, that looks great. Going to add in some green onion tops and I'm going to do a side of broccoli. You can see when I hold this up, I have on, almost no liquid coming out of the pasta. So I think that was the right amount. You could add butter to this on top if you wanted, maybe a, a little bit of salt and pepper after tasting. And there you have it. Fantastic beef stroganoff cooked in an instant pot. Now let's cover how much energy we used, but first the cost. Here's a list of ingredients that I used. This recipe makes about eight cups of beef stroganoff and six adult sized servings. Here's a summary of the cost to make this meal. The green line at the bottom shows the cost for the beef stroganoff only. The line above it includes the broccoli and the beef stroganoff together and shows that we can make a complete meal for $2.38. That's quite a bargain for such a nutritious meal. To cook this in the Instant Pot, I used 213 watt hours. The utility rate in my area is 20 cents per kilowatt hour that translates into a little bit over four cents to cook the beef stroganoff. Here are the time numbers along with the power and energy usage. This graph shows the amount of energy each function took in watt hours. For saute, it took 105 watt hours and for pressure, it took 108 watt hours the rest of the functions used minimal energy. This chart shows each cooking function and the number of minutes that it took, as well as the accumulating energy in watt hours. This experiment showed that the Instant Pot, as well as other electric pressure cookers, are very energy efficient. For this three-quart Instant Pot, 
it took 213 watt hours to cook the main meal. To put this in perspective, it takes about 100 watts each hour to charge a laptop. So the energy used to cook this meal is the equivalent of charging your laptop for a little over two hours. That's really impressive. For cooking the beef stroganoff itself, including the energy cost, was less than $2 per serving. When I included the broccoli, it's less than $2.50 per serving. Here's the recipe for the beef stroganoff. This will fit into an Instant Pot Mini, which is three quarts. Of course, this can also be cooked stovetop by starting with a Dutch oven, browning the meat, onions, etc., and then adding the noodles with the liquid to boil. This recipe is also over at my fledgling website, katieskempkitchen.com. If you're interested in watching more, one of these videos might be right up your alley. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any new ones. Thanks so very much. Bye for now.